In this problem, we have to prove that k times a plus b is equal to ka plus kb for all scalars k and matrices ab of the same size. So by a scalar, we mean an element of a field, such as you know maybe the real numbers or the complex numbers. And a and b here have entries from a field as well. Okay, proof. So in order to prove this, we need some way to identify the entries of our matrices. So let's do that. So let A sub ij, or simply Aij, denote the ij entry of the matrix A and Bij denote the ij entry of the matrix B. And so now let's look at the left hand side. So then the ij entry of the matrix A plus B is the ij entry of A plus the ij entry of B. So that'll be the ij entry of um, A plus B. Let me clean that up a little bit, make it look a little bit uh, better. So there we go, ij. So then the ij entry of k times a plus b is simply k times aij plus bij. All right, so now let's do the same thing with the other side just to see uh, what we have. So the ij entry of ka. Well, that's just going to be k times the ij entry of a, so that's going to be kaij. And the ij entry of kb is kbij. So the ij entry of the sum ka plus kb is kaij plus kbij. So note, since kaij and bij are scalars, from a field, the distributive law holds. The distributive law holds. That is, we have the following. We have that k times aij plus bij, this is the entry of our matrix on the left, well k distributes over this, so that gives us k aij plus k bij, so these are actually equal. So the the ij entry, clean this up a little bit, there we go, so the ij entry of you know k times a plus b is the same as the ij entry of ka plus kb. So this means, so thus, k times a plus b and k a plus k b have identical entries.
Hence, they must be equal. So hence, we have that uh, they must be the same matrix because all of their entries are the same. So k times a plus b is equal to ka plus kb. So quite verbose and, and a lot of writing, um, but I just wanted to go through all of the details. This is a very, uh, you know, low level, I don't know if that's the right word, fundamental proof um, regarding, um, you know, the distributive properties. So a scalar will distribute uh, across addition for uh, matrices. So hopefully this video uh, has been helpful to someone out there. Good luck.